Welcome back to geometry. Uh, we have another short sections here, section here, the volume and surface area of spheres. Yet again, these formulas are things you need calculus to prove, so I do not make you memorize these. I don't think most teachers will. And uh, we don't really have a way of proving it without um, calculus, so I'm just going to hand these to you as well, volume and surface area. The volume of a sphere, change up the color, is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Eh, okay. Surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Now that one, that one surprises me a bit. 4 pi r cubed. You know, pi r, sorry, 4, four pi r squared. It's got to be squared. It's an area dimension. Pi r squared is the area of a circle. This is 4 times the area of, of a circle. What circle are they talking about? They're talking about the circle. Uh, what, which we call a great circle on a sphere. It's the biggest circle um, in the sphere. I mean, you can imagine there's a lot of circles. There's a circle like um, there, whoops, there, and they get bigger as you get closer to the equator, right? When you get below the equator, if you were to put like rubber bands around the, the sphere, they would get smaller and smaller. Well, the biggest possible one is called the great circle. Um, and you could have another great circle as long as the center of that circle is the center of the sphere. It's a great circle. So we could draw one like here. It's a great circle. Um, so it, like imagine you have a ring. A ring is around the equator of the sphere. And you kind of push that ring and move it around. As you move it, it stays where the center is at the center of the sphere. That's called the great circle. It's any circle that could be drawn on a sphere where the center of that circle is the center of the sphere. Um, so it's four times that area. So let me just kind of shade this in here. That yellow, and it's like, that's weird, right? Four times that is the area of the sphere. I mean, if you were to try to wrap a tennis ball or a bowling ball, a bowling ball is a good example. So you're going to get a bowling ball for your uncle for his birthday. You're going to wrap it in wrapping paper. How much wrapping paper would you need? It's like, oh, it's not going to work well with wrapping paper, right? Um, that, that surface is very unusual. Um, it's not at all rectangular. It's not going to work good for our normal wrapping paper. But it turns out it's exactly four times the area of that great circle, that yellow circle there, or the red circle. So that's interesting. Um, well, let's just do a quick example and we're done. There's not much to this section either. So let's find the volume and the surface area of a sphere with diameter uh, of 14 feet. And yeah, I'm gonna, gonna be tricky and tell you the diameter and what do you have to do first before we plug into the formulas. We might just say, hey, that means the radius is seven feet, right? And forget the 14. Okay, so first up, let's do volume. Volume, we said was four thirds pi r cubed. So four thirds pi seven cubed. And I pick some crazy numbers here. 7 cubed, that's a good one to know. I mean, 7 squared is 49, 7 times 49 is 343. And this one does not reduce at all. You get 1372 pi over 3. Eh, let's just leave it like that. Feet cubed, right? It's volume, so it's cubic feet. Surface area, a little easier formula, 4 pi r. We just got a square at this time. So 4 pi times 49 of that, we could probably do in our head. 4 times 49 is 196 pi, and these units are squared. Always box your answer. Always work vertically. Always show your initial setup. Leave in terms of pi. Save yourself. I haven't used the calculator in, in uh, any of these last few lessons, if you leave things in terms of pi. Well, I hope that helps. Um, we got all our formulas now for uh, this chapter.